All right, Paddington, what are we making today? Charcuterie board. We are making a charcuterie board. So we are making a charcuterie board for dogs today. We're gonna be baking some cookies, and oh, I know this is the magic word, as well as a lot of other dog-friendly ingredients. And if your dog has any allergies like egg or chicken or beef, we're gonna be sharing some recipes that are pretty much allergen-free. So yeah, let's get going. So first we're going to make the homemade cookie portion because those take the longest and they need to cool. So we're gonna set the oven to 325 degrees Fahrenheit or 162 degrees Celsius. And we are starting with the classic dog bones recipe. So first I place one and a quarter cups or 177 grams of brown rice flour into a bowl and two thirds of a cup or 157 mils of chicken broth. So human chicken broth, chicken broth for humans, is usually made with onions and garlic and that's actually toxic to dogs. So you can either make your own without that, get some broth that is specific for dogs, which is what I'm using right now, or you can just use water. And if your dog has a chicken allergy, you can use like beef broth or vegetable broth too, um, but just make sure there's no onion or garlic in it. And then on top of that, I added a quarter cup or 60 mils of liquid coconut oil. And then we're gonna mix that all together. And as you can see, it kind of looks like a Play-Doh consistency. That's the consistency that we want. So I am going to put that into a little mini bone-shaped silicone mold. So I'm gonna grease this with some extra coconut oil. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. And I put half of the dough into the mold, much to Paddington's displeasure. <laughs> and then I got the rest of the batter and I added two tablespoons or 17 grams of ground flax seeds. Flax seeds are actually really good for dogs, and plus it adds some visual interest to the bones, but you don't have to add it if you don't want to. And then I just baked the bones for about 15 minutes or until they were hard to the touch and started to brown around the edges. And then those bones are going to cool while we make our other cookie recipe. So we're gonna be making some salmon fish cakes. These are Paddington's like true loves. If your dog loves salmon, they're gonna go crazy. So we're just gonna increase the oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 204 degrees Celsius. So first we're gonna crack two large eggs into a bowl and just gently beat them. This is gonna help everything bind together later on. So we're gonna add two cans, which are six ounces or six ounces or 170 grams each of skinless and boneless salmon that is in water. You wanna make sure it's in water because that's healthiest for dogs. Half of a red bell pepper, one stalk of celery, eight sugar snap peas, and all of these have been finely chopped, like obviously as you can see. And then half a cup or 25 grams of plain unseasoned breadcrumbs. I use panko, very, very on brand for this channel. And then two tablespoons or eight grams of fresh curly parsley. So you wanna use curly parsley instead of the flat parsley. Honestly, this is like the only use for curly parsley because like it's not that great. Like no one likes it, but your dogs will like it because it's actually better for them than the flat parsley. And then you wanna just mix everything together. And then we're gonna shape the mixture into patties and pop them onto a baking sheet that we have brushed with coconut oil. That is like the most backwards way of saying it. I apologize. And we're also going to brush the tops of the patties with coconut oil. And so what this coconut oil does, it's like obviously it's good for your dog's skin, it's good for their fur, it will keep them nice and hydrated, but it will also brown the bottoms and the tops of the patties and they will look so delicious. I promise you're gonna wanna eat these too. And then we're just gonna bake them for 15 minutes until they are golden brown and cool them completely. So we have one more thing to make, and this is actually a Kong filling, but we're gonna use it as like a spread, cause you know you see those on cheese boards. Half a cup or 115 grams of plain full fat Greek yogurt. So you want it to be plain because we don't want any extra additives, because dogs, there's not good for dogs. And you wanna use full fat, we're not giving them a lot of yogurt, so don't worry, it's like your dog isn't gonna become like a little stuffed turkey after this, don't worry. We have half a cooked chicken breast that you can either shred or dice a quarter of an apple that I finely chopped, a quarter cup or 71 grams of finely chopped celery, two tablespoons or eight grams of, again, that curly parsley, and then literally mix it all together. Like, it is that simple. <laughs> so the hard part is over. Now we are just going to assemble the cheese board and chop up some fruits and veggies to kind of like bulk it out. I don't, honestly, I don't even know why I did this because like, 
they don't want them. Like, there's like homemade cookies here. They're not gonna go for the fruits and veggies. Honestly, like, waste of time. But it's cute, it's cute. So we're just gonna power through. And because I can't stop, I got a strawberry and I chopped off like the little pointy tip and then scooped out the middle, put a dollop of that same Greek yogurt in and placed a blueberry on top and it's, <laughs> it's just so cute. And honestly, I was literally sweating at this point, sweating. This was, this was a project. Um, so I picked it up, this is like pure marble, it's heavy. And we are gonna see what Paddington and Treacle think and what they choose first. So comment down below, tell me what your dog would choose because everyone's dog different. So I really wanna know like what your dog would go for first. No. And if you want your cheese board to be a little bit more cookie heavy and less like fruit because you know your dog isn't gonna touch it and it's a waste, I have a really, really great video for that and it features Baby Paddington, which I mean, it's just next level. So if you would like to see Baby Paddington and get a bunch of other dog treat ideas, I will link it in the cards and at the end of the video for you. And I'll see you guys next Friday for a new video.